Let's take a look at our district wins. Nothing better than a little family time during school. Some students at Hancock Creek Elementary enjoyed picnics, paper bags, and proud papas. We'd like to send a big thank you to all of the dads for making this day so magical for our students. What an exciting time for the East Lee County High School debate team, who received a special visit from Lee County School Board member Miss Kathleen Morgan. Students were surprised to learn what a normal day is for the Lee County School Board. Thank you for sharing the day with us, Miss Morgan. You might not know this, but learning math can make you really hungry. These Paul Lawrence Dunbar Middle School students woke up early on a Saturday morning to take part in math boot camp. Teachers and staff have now made this an annual event. You know, it's all about healthy minds and healthy bodies. The School District of Lee County Food and Nutrition Services Department have unveiled their new program, the Healthy Fit Lab. This colorful trailer now travels from school to school with the Healthy Living Lab to help in teaching physical education alongside the nutrition education already provided. And it's quite apparent that our students are loving it. These third grade students at Gateway Elementary School were way beyond excited and couldn't wait to show off their learning. Teachers gave students a very unique assignment to write encouragement letters to themselves. Great job, Gators. Play ball, and they did but not before the Cypress Lake Middle School singers took to the field to perform the national anthem before a Fort Myers Miracle game. We're very proud of your performance, students. Elsewhere, to help prevent binge drinking and underage drinking during spring break, prevention advocates of all ages traveled to Fort Myers Beach. The school district of Lee County was well represented by Cape Coral High School Students Against Destructive Decisions, also known as SAD. Nearly 500 visitors and spring breakers were surveyed by the Seahawks students. Finally, check this out. Our brand new sign has arrived at Orangewood Elementary School. That is awesome. Now, I'm assuming that's a number two pencil pictured on the left. Just asking. Remember, you can subscribe to Lee Schools TV on YouTube to receive the most up-to-date stories right on your phone or personal computer. Lee Schools TV is available on Comcast Cable Channel 99 and now on CenturyLink Cable Channel 89 or on Twitter. Follow Lee Schools on Twitter and be sure to share your tweets using hashtag LoveLeeSchools.